welcome to the fifth clue. And final. Fifth and final. Fifth and final. It's the finale. Finale. So exciting. Congrats for making it this far. Yep. And if you didn't, that's fine too. You go at your own pace. Yep. Um, so we are going to talk all things Clue 5. Yep. Start me off. Where do we want to start? Well, okay, let's just say how it's going to work. We're going to talk about it. We're going to show a tutorial. Then we're going to show all the shawls. Okay. Yeah. Two minus, tutorials. Kind minus of. the one that we're going to talk about blocking. Find, yeah. One of the stitch patterns I do a tutorial for, and then we're going to talk about blocking your, your shawls and, um, so you're going to see okay. it. So you will. So if you don't want to see anything or hear anything about it, I would go away. Yeah. Because, because we're, we're going to talk, talk about, about the whole it. thing starting now. Starting now. Here we go. Okay. So <sighs> let's well, talk about what we're sort of our inspiration and in throwing back. First of all, I mean, the minute that these we, are, these are clues, by the way, Yeah. the minute that we start talking like in the year about what we're going to do for the next MCAL, it's like hard not to think about the first one. It is. Right? Because that one was so good. Our very first MCAL, MCAL. the My Sister Shawl. And yes. I know we've talked about that a lot, but I mean, that is a huge inspirational throwback for us for, for this, this specific yes, shawl. It is. And so if you were around then, you know, <clears throat> well, if you've knit it, you know what a the shape is yeah. and how we constructed it yeah. in a sense, right? Yeah. Although this is different. Oh, totally different. It's but it got similar... Similar, similar features, features. in yeah. that we knit it in two pieces. So <clears throat> at this point, you have two pieces. Yeah, on and two everyone separate Everyone is going, what are we going to do? I love hearing all the ideas. Yeah. I love, you know, are we going to kitchener it? Because that's not technically sewing it up. You know, what are we doing? Yeah. Three needle bind off, like what's going on? And our testers were the same. They were curious uh -huh. what was going to happen and, you know, yeah. what other options? I don't know. But... Yeah you're going to see what's going to happen. So. Yeah, because then like from that shawl and like just the, our progression of like what we were knitting, like what we've been knitting over the years and yeah. whatnot. Like, yeah. I mean, one of my favorites, like my Desert Island designer is uh, Stephen, Stephen West, West yes. because like mm -hmm. he just does such crazy fun things. And so, I mean, that's something that I, I'm not good enough to, to do in such huge quantities as him like piecing together all these crazy pieces like for right. instance this one here what's this called Jish this one is Jish Jishal. Jishal. and then the other like we all knit the vertices, vertices night, yeah which is where I, I would say our finale our very final section section it's 11 of... is inspired by Stephen west and how to mm -hmm. join pieces of work in different ways and also by the starting point by and the by starting because point. i mean yes. her join on that was super interesting oh, and to we do. were so and new we to were knitting. so new like, was like oh, it was our first yarn show we went it was to magical like, i loved yeah. how she joined it and i mean that's like i said was one of the first mcal or was the first mcal we knit we yeah. did some stephen west ones after that and yeah. i mean i wanted to do something fun with the join mm -hmm. and didn't want it to be like well and keep it just a, mystery. a straight line and then sew it together exactly. or like Pick with up our stitches and yeah. work the other way. Yeah. Like, like I want to join it together. Yeah, that's what we did here, right? We had provisional cast on in the middle, knit half, come back, knit the other half. Yeah, which was you know fun in itself. Yeah, but this one you get to actually somehow join them together. Join, and you do not have to sew. No, nope. except for your ends if yes. you want to. Exactly. And here's the fun part about section eleven. Mm. You are going to get to decide what it looks like. Yeah. So we have given you some examples. You will see, um, you know, if you start, I'm going to, you know, we're going to open up the FO threads. You want to take a peek at some of um, ones that start popping up in there, maybe yep. from our testers or ones that are finished. Yep. Um, and what they've done, because there's endless possibilities. Yes. Um, and that's something that we do. DIY. Design it yourself. Well, we've really? done that, like, um, I know the Katie Shawl was a choose your own ending. Yeah, and we like to do that. Yeah, like, Cause we, we like, always do. We like to hack patterns of well, others and ours and our own like we're constantly yeah. even hacking our own patterns and we're really, like oh i've done this but now yeah. i can do this you guys are so full of creativity that mm -hmm. it's cool to see what you come up with like yeah. don't and just even get stuck to what we want our testers oh. have taken that even above and beyond too yeah. so that'll be fun every to shawl see looks those different in the fo threads yeah. they're all completely different yeah yeah so and for me i'm a big i hate having like the tiniest little bit of yarn left over like yeah. you know me i just like push my skeins right to the end yeah. in my designs and so you can do that with this clue. You can do that. You can you can you can get rid of like your little 
you have little bits yeah. left, you can throw those in however you want yeah. and you can do whatever you want. Yeah. So. so we've given you the total amount of weight that you need. It is a generous amount. You probably don't need quite as much as we've called for, but just to be sure. Yeah. So know your total amount, give it away or whatever, and then you can go kind um, of figure out how you want to piece yeah. it together. And then you just keep repeating that row, switching out your colors or doing it however you want. Yeah, exactly. And we talk about that in the tutorial, but if you're not going to watch the tutorial because you don't want to see it, then just know that you can, once you, I think a couple of our testers, what they did is they, they did what we, like they followed the instructions and then they saw what was happening. Yeah. And then they thought, okay, I know what I want to do now. And I, yeah. they pulled it out and they did it again. Yeah. And did a different, maybe striping sequence or a different stitch. Yeah. So you'll see some different ones at the end. Um, but it's really fun. Everyone enjoyed it. And we've got three different middles to show. Right now we have three. I would have had a fourth, but I could not. My gray one, that I thought it was here. Oh, Classic that's Jamie. Funny. I could not find it at home, but I didn't look hard enough because I was like, oh, I think it's just at mom's. Right. And it's not here. So yeah. You'll see that on the podcast next week, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we cannot wait to show you what is sitting in front of us. Mm -hmm. Finally, we get to hold the whole thing up and not just do like janky little up. like bits. Super excited. So I think that's everything we wanted to kind of tribute and say where we got our inspiration. You can DIY this next section, section yeah. 11, and we can't wait to yeah. see. So next you're going to see the join. No, you're going to see the Katie stitch. No, that's done. That was clue four. Right. I'm totally Sarah's, off on my weeks. Yeah, like Sarah's off. where we are in you're the... You're going... You yeah, don't, just you don't need join. a tutorial for section 10. Section 10 is just a nice back and forth. You're going to enjoy section 10. That's mini micro. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And then you're going to see the join. So yeah. if you want to do section 10 maybe and try the join without looking at the video, then don't just stop the video. Go yeah. away now. Go but if in. you start the join and are like, ah, I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe just go watch it because there is yeah. a funny thing that can happen and I discuss it. Yeah. In it's just how like you got to make sure your right sides are facing, but sometimes the way you want to pick up your needles, yeah, you'll pick them up and then it'll flip it to the wrong side. So you just you, you'll get it, try it. There. Yeah, yeah, try it, but just make sure that your right sides are facing, facing you, you when, when you're, you're holding, holding your the needles. Yeah, yeah. Because if you pick it up like this, you're flipping your work to the wrong side. Yeah, and then the join will be backwards. backwards. It won't work. Trust it. Yeah. Trust us. Trust it us. Work. Um. Trust our tester that it happened to. Yeah, poor tester. And um, I think that's it. So if you yeah. don't want to see anything and you want to just give the clue a go, go now. And if you feel like you need a visual, the first thing up is the join. Yeah. And how the final clue is going to work. Yeah. And how the pieces are going to come together. And then the second part of the tutorial will be blocking. So come back to that when you're done. Yeah. And it's just going to be very basic. If you block stuff, you're going to block the shape. Shelf. Yeah. But you will need a, to give it a block. And it's going to be really nice if you can use pins or you can blocking really get that crisp edge. edge. Um, but if not, you don't, you know. I didn't. You just kind of wet it, lay it out. That's what I did with this Pull it. Um, that, that center or that final section is going to pull out. You're going to see it kind of... You're going to feel like it chunks in a little yeah. bit. You're just going to block that Once out. Once you wet the, the fabric, then yeah. it, it, it's great. Yeah. And it, you can get it real nice and crisp if you want. We had some testers that did the wires, like we're going to show you and got it into a perfect, um, the shape that it ends up in. Yeah. A perfect that shape. A perfect that shape, which everyone is fairly clear on as we've been going, yeah. but it was fun to twist with clue for. This is a good twist on how it comes together. Yeah. So we're going to go. You're going to see some tutorials and then we're going to be back to show you in all of its glory. Yeah. The final, final show. Okay. See you, see soon. you soon. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to re-talk about probably a bit of stuff that we did talk about in the intro of this video because I want to talk about it again with you seeing it as you'll see it with your own shawl. Um, so first of all, um, the pattern talks about a few different options that you can do, um, in the middle of your section. We're going to kind of skip through that. We'll probably have talked about that already in the intro as well, but, um, okay. So let me just get to And at the end, feet. we'll talk about it at the end. Oh yeah. And at the end too, when we show all our shawls. All right. So set up. So with the longer side of the triangle or the longer side of the clue, which is the first half is in your left, will be in your left hand and the shorter side will be in your right hand. 
Now, if you use two um, full needle sets, great. If you didn't, what you're gonna remove is this back needle that you won't use. Oh, I should have shoot. Thought, thought of this. Uh, so let's pause. I just, okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take off the back needle. Of the short of side. Of the shorter side, if you don't have uh, needles on your, and then we're gonna put it onto the front so that both your needle tips are down here. Let me just do this. Oh, shoot. Don't do that, guys. Don't do this part of it. Maybe just pause it. And then get it through all the mohair. It's okay. Out. So, so now we have both of our needles at the together tip. At that end. At this end. I'm gonna fold this up a little bit. Oh no, you guys. Just a sec. Oh my goodness. Dogs. Okay. Needles. All the things. The next will be kids. Let's see Probably. if we can get through this. Okay. So, um, short side on the right, long side on the left. So you can see like the way that the biases go, you get a big pie shape. Just like that. Okay. Pizza. Pizza shape. Big triangle. Pizza. Okay. So set up. Longer side here, short side here. All right, so the first instruction, let me just get some yarn ready. Now, when you go to pick up your needle tips, it may be natural for you to want to pick them up like this. But yes, your side. right side is here, but your wrong side is actually facing here. You need to pick them up more like this as if you're working straight across. Right sides. Here to here. Mm -hmm. Because if you pick it up like this, it will it will not make the right shape. So this is a no. So you wanna pick up your needles and have the right sides still facing towards you, as you can see on those there. All right, so the first instruction is slip one stitch from right hand needle to the left hand needle. Okay. That's left to right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, of course it is. Of course it is, okay. guys. All right, so don't do that. Okay, let's start over. We're going to slip one stitch from the right hand needle to the left hand needle, which might feel a little awkward. Awkward and incorrect. It is correct, as I just showed. All right, so here is ready for row one. So now we are going to slip two stitches together knit wise. So that's the one from that we just slipped over and one from the new side. Hold on, I've got something funny happening here. Let me just oh, Jamie and her mohair. No, and it's not it's not the mohair. <laughs> Might be that second piece of fingering weight that you've gotten here. There we go. I just had a strand stuck. All right. Sorry. Slip two stitches together knit wise. Then we're going to knit one. And this first row, the first row or two, you kind of have to hang on to quite a bit of stuff here. Um, slip two, two stitches together knitwise, knit one, and then we're going to P2 SSO. So we're going to pass those two slipped stitches over. And like I said, this first, it's a little finicky. A little bit can be a bit but finicky. It's better than having to sew it together. Yep. Wait, the magic is going to happen. All right, so, so there fun. we go. So now we're on to row two, so we're gonna turn. And also, I'm gonna move this here. This part can be tough because you tend to have to turn your whole entire shawl. I'm just gonna kind of do it like this, just so I don't have to pick up the whole thing. Yeah, you can, you don't have to. You got it. All right, so, oh, I do move this closer. Now we are going to slip two stitches together purl-wise. So we're just gonna slip those off purl wise. Then we are going to purl one. And we're gonna pass those two slipped stitches over. Okay, now we're gonna turn. All right, so set up row three. We are going to, with yarn in front, 
slip one stitch from left hand needle to right hand needle. I had to literally think left and right in my I head know, there. I know. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to do this wrong again. Slip one stitch from left hand needle to right hand needle. Then we are going to bring our yarn back to the back. Then we are going to knit one stitch. And you can see as I go, I just kind of pull, tighten my tails up so it doesn't get too loose and we lose stitches. Um, knit one and then we're going to turn. And row four. We are going to slip one with yarn or with yarn in front, slip one stitch from left hand needle to right hand needle. And we are going to knit two. Oops, sorry, I forgot to move my yarn back. Okay, so slip row four, slip one from left hand needle to right hand needle and knit two. And turn. So that was the setup. Okay, so it doesn't look like much, but I'm gonna do a few rows into this a little bit so we can see what's happening. So the body of the triangle, all we are doing is repeating the same row. Slip one with yarn in front, knit two border, knit two border stitches together, and then turn. So we're gonna do that. So slip one with yarn in front. Now we're gonna knit to the border, and that's where I ended with our CCs, which this should be your C2. If you did different CCs, that's fine. Um, but that's what I mean by border stitch, is this CC row. Um, so the only time you really have to be careful is when you are, if you're switching out your colors in your center triangle like we did in the ones we showed earlier, um, because it'll be the same color as what's on your needle, you just gotta watch and make sure that you're not just knitting too far, being that it's the same color. Um, all right, so we've slipped one with yarn in front. We're gonna knit to border stitch. So not knitting the border stitch, just knitting to the border stitch, which you can see here, I finished my main color stitch and now I've got my border stitches. And now we are going to knit two border stitches together. If I can get into this mohair. <laughs> Had to make it so difficult. Knit two border stitches together and turn. Okay, so again, that exact same row, slip with yarn in front, knit to border. So every time you work this row, you're increasing one stitch in the center. Okay, so knitting to the border, knit two border stitches together, and turn. Okay, so again, slip with yarn in front, knit to the border. I'm at my border, knit two border stitches together. So it's getting kind of, there we go. Knitting two border stitches together and turn. So I'm gonna do this a few more times and just to show you a bit of a bigger wedge there so you can get a good look at it. Alright, so I've done a little bit of the wedge here, so you can see that as my center is getting bigger, I'm slowly just working my way up the edges until I get that big center pizza, pizza big triangle. Center triangle. Oh, it's hard on my table. So, so this is the very tip of your triangle, and then yeah. you'll work to the longest section. And so it bring, keeps these edges straight on the... Um, this side of your shawl and just brings it together very nicely <gasps> if I do say so myself. It is so fun. Way to so, go, Sarah. Have fun with this section, you guys, and stay tuned to see a few different options of what you can do in the middle. Um, we talk about it a bit in the pattern of different striping, of uh, putting CCs in um, at your own however you like. We've yeah. seen lots of different versions like chunk 
color chunks. Yes, um, all our testers all did something different. Yep. Um, if you are, maybe Jamie will do it with this one, but if you are wanting to have some fun, this stitch here is a great one to pop into the middle. Yep. You just have Pick to your you know, do your seven, then your five, then your yep. seven with the slip stitch in between. Yep. Also, um, or else this one here, which I think I hope Jamie's going to do uh, this one. I might have to do something different than just garter because so, I've already done <laughs> garter ones. But yeah. enjoy, you guys. This is the most fun. This is where you make it very special. Make yep. it your own and it'll be unique. And um, thanks for knitting along. There you go. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a quick little, we've done tutorials about blocking and all of that <laughs> before. So I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown of what you're going to be seeing here. Um, so, I mean, I use what you have, but I definitely recommend like the blocking wires are great, especially for the stole shapes. Um, so once you've soaked your shawl and um, rolled it out in a towel, um, and then you just thread your wires through the edges here. And I love these blocking pins like they're the greatest the right? claws yeah they're fantastic yeah. so and then i always start on one edge first and normally i would obviously have the whole thing wired and pinned but i'm just kind of showing this for today try to keep your you know top edge as straight as you can and because you might find that this line here will bubble a little bit just because of the garter coming off eyelets and all that but the eyelets really play into like opening up the um the shawl in like depth wise so once you get your whole top wired that's when you can kind of pull everything down mine's chunking up a bit right now because it's not actually wet yeah we're doing oh, this we're just doing a quick one we're doing a dry block here just yeah. to show so you kind of pull everything down and go for the width and yeah, really go for pull. the width and you can kind of keep doing this as you keep placing your pins I love pulling it out. It's so yeah. like, and then ooh. that will really help to open up all of your eyelets and, and the garter garter really grows if that's what you chose to do. Right. Garter yeah. really gives and to all I do is just kind of smooth it out, place my pins. Sometimes I go, Oh, I can stretch that one more, pull it down a bit more, make sure your edges are kind of all straight. And I mean, really that's, that's all there is to, um, to blocking if you have if you don't have these claws and just have straight pins you want to do lots yeah so it doesn't to end hold up the wire down mm -hmm. um and then for the edge of course if we had it done if we had it here. done like this would be through a wire this would be through a wire and then you would just pull place a pin place a pin and kind of scallop this edge out a little bit more oh yeah it looks... um, but it's quite wavy so it might just be the edges that you'd want to yeah if you want it more pull it out if you want yeah. it less and then you just kind of pull those down and it'll it'll block out yes it will it'll so be there. lovely we're back. we are you guys we're back and we cannot wait to show you you've obviously already seen if you watch the blocking tutorial my entire shawl out on the table but yeah. we're gonna show it Actually, again here oh right because is this the one yeah, we'll put this one down because it's... Okay. Yeah. And you're, of course, this is just plain. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I guess. Example, right? That's funny. So the, here we go. So we're going to show them all. Unfortunately, I thought my gray DK one from Ginger Snap was here. I've been wearing it a ton, so it must be like be in anywhere. my winter bin. Oh, maybe. But I did one of those things where I looked for it and then I was like, oh, I can't see sure it. Like, at mom's. I can't see it on the surface of all the things. So it must be at mom's. And then I got here and it wasn't, so... That's Sorry funny. about that. It's so pretty. It is, but we'll show that on the podcast next yeah, week. Yeah, so. we'll have to do that. Okay, so here... This is my original. So talk about it. So it's a little different than, like, a few of the sections are... I think longer. Longer than what they are in the actual. So here's the beginning. This was the Oops, very... Just... This was her prototype. Yeah. So there it is. Clue one, clue two. Like, this section specifically is a lot smaller. Yes. Because I actually ran out of yarn. That's right. And so my... This is the rundown. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm glad it's up there, Gran. We're just going to finish this video quick. Okay. Um, so Sarah... This oh, yeah. The other Four. side. There's five micro minis. And here's your join. Now, so this part, I normally wouldn't have done it just in one color, but we needed a, a proper weight yeah. of what yeah. was used for this. So, so I started with yeah. a brand new skein and just did the center 
in just the main color. Yeah. So here it is. I'm going to put it on while you um, I'm too grab warm. the other ones. So this was my second one that I had to knit. I love a um, big long scarf. So I'm going to triple wrap this. Oh, totally. Um, oh, yes. Oh, look, that looks There's so, so many good. beautiful ways to tie it. Like you can really fancy this up. Oh, totally. But there it is. I oh, love those colors. it's so pretty. So this is the second one I knit. Okay. Um, and this one's out of single ply. Oopsies. Is this the one with the wrong middle? The middle's are wrong. Yeah, so it's this twice the price. size. I was, I was, um. Oh, we've had some fun, you guys. So <laughs> this is the stitch, like the, you it, can go this way with the, the micro shaping. The middle is not this big. But the mic, yes, like, it's not Like, it's this big. bigger than this. <laughs> yeah, it's big. She did so, it with like, a, anyway, she, we weren't knitting two together or something. I was doing funny things. Oh, but, well, hey, whatever. Yeah. So it still it looks is. good, that but it's just great. super, this one's even longer. Yeah. But there's it's that one in its entirety. I forgot I had flag. done that. Oh, look at these Katie's. I just I love them. Love that no, stitch. That one on. So what some of our testers did with their choose their own adventure is they, uh, we've seen some with the Katie stitch yep. added into the center. Looks so good. Yeah. With some of their extra colors. And what Jamie did was the slip stitch. This waves. has not been blocked. I just finished this last night. This is my giant woolly one. And of course you saw in the tutorial when Sarah was joining these two, that she joined it with the main color. Then she ripped it I out. Ripped and it then out. I did I it in a different over. color. So here it is. Here it is. Oh, in all look at that. Glory. And then the center. center. So you can see how it is still wobbly until we I have it blocked block it. So there but it look is. Look at that with the slip stitch waves. I did slip stitch. Oh, that looks so good. So nice. And there we go. There's the end of it. And of course, I only did the one because hers was mine hers is like long. Aaron weight. It's gigantic. Yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be just oh, it's a gonna one. It's gonna be so warm though. And um. Oh yeah, this is like walk the dogs in minus forty. Oh yeah, totally. Isn't it beautiful? So anyway, there it is. This is huge. This one is like oh yeah way bigger than any. But we needed I another one. Knit. Oh no, that's not inside out. There we go. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it looks so good. I love it so much. Oh, I'm so hot. Yeah, that's so, gonna be a warm one. There we are. So the final shape is a. Oh wait, stole. here's Katie's. Oh yeah, there's her clue. <laughs> Wanna see Katie's? There's four. The start of clue four. And I did it. Yep. Dang, I wish my gray one was here. Yeah. Like, dum dum. Shoot. Oh well. Anyway, so you're gonna. It's a final. It's a stole. Yeah, obviously. There you go. So a big love long a scarf, which is what we love. Like the sister shawl was yeah. a stole. The throwing it back, or no, Easy the um, wear. yeah, at the creek was a stole. Yeah, a no, bit the of a one of pokies that we loved. Oh, the starting point. Starting point is a stole. Like yeah, you just can't go wrong. And uh, so there it is. So we hope you enjoyed your like Yay. month of knitting along with us. We're so. Grateful to all of you. We're gonna have yeah. some prizes coming. So get your get your FOs in those threads. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see the um, you'll see that the new FO hashtag will be in your clue, and you know where the FO thread is on Ravelry. That's where we're gonna draw from. We will also draw from the chatter. Yeah, we'll pop in there and draw um, one from the chatter here and there. We're just gonna kind of draw from yeah. anyone who is participating. And remember, but definitely FO is going to be where the grand prizes come. Yeah, we They'll do be... one, uh, like the week after the clue comes out, we'll do our first draw. And then a yeah. full week later, we do a second draw. Yes, we do. So we'll give you one more week to get right. in there. And then you have a second chance for those that were done on on the first draw, get to a go back chance. in and get a second chance to win. And then if you're not quite done, you still get a chance to, to yeah. get into at least one draw. Yeah. So we're going to give you that full extra week. And I week. think we've done that every time. Yeah, maybe not the beginning because we didn't know. I think we did. I think we were like, let's give them an extra week. It's probably because we had prizes and we're like, well, we want to give away more things. Yeah, I betcha. And we're just so grateful for everyone joining in and yeah. like, so all we the hope you guys loved it. But we had such a good time. Yeah. So there we go. Throwing it back is done. Yay. It's crazy, hey? Until next year. Until next year. Well, there we go. Thank you all. Next year, it's your turn to design. Is it? Are we taking turns? Sure. You did last year's. <laughs> I did this year's. So we'll start thinking about it. We'll just do yeah, it together. In a couple months. We generally we do we collab. We a lot do on collab it. like for sure. Yeah. Um. But good job, Sarah. Thanks. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you guys next time, I guess, Yay. and um, we'll see you on the fo, and we'll see all your finished things, and yeah, and uh, yeah. Thanks for joining in. Happy, Happy knitting. knitting.